kind of wanted to say Kachow in a really like dramatic voice or the intro to the Cars film, like I Am Speed. But then I realized just how cringy it would come across. And I can't be bothered going through the effort of editing it to make it look like it does in the film. So we're not going to do that. All I'm going to say is check out the drip today. We are rocking the full Lightning McQueen bike. Uh, no matching gear. I'm afraid that doesn't exist. Is <coughs> No matching gear, I'm afraid. That doesn't exist yet. Um, but I will put this bike in the description for you guys, as always. And I want to show off a, a track for you today that I have come across. Now, uh, obviously, I've been around for about two years now in this scene. And uh, every now and then, I still come across a track that I've never seen before that does surprise me. Now, this is Tucko's Compound. Uh, Tucko is one of the OG creators of the game. I don't believe he's really around in the community anymore. And uh, this was posted on MXB Mods. Uh, like one of the very, very first uh, pages and tracks we posted on there. It was posted by CBM. Uh, rest in peace, CBM, by the way. And what it consists of is we've got two uh, Nationals tracks. We've got one over there that I'm looking at. We've got one here that kind of runs underneath the camera. And then you've got a tiny little uh, freestyle slash free ride area in the middle there with some ramps. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do a few laps of both and see really how this track compares to modern day tracks, mostly in terms of how the corners are built, jump faces, and just what the flow's like and overall quality of the compound in general. But on first glance, sawing across the map right here, it looks really nice, really flowy, and some uh, a couple of big jumps here to throw some, some old whipper towels over. So let's go and have some fun. Okie dokie, so we spawn in here off the bat in the freestyle area. I'm not going to uh, give this too much attention, just purely because it looks like it is, I think, three ramps, well, three jumps in total. Uh, just one this way and then two going in the two other directions. So I'm just going to hit these one or two times, get them out of the way, see how the jumps feel, see if they've got any... Oh, okay, they've got kickers on them. Sent help, sent help, and career ended. Completely dead, gone. <laughs> Let me hit this one more time. Oh god, so I'm guessing it's, is it just a kick if I jump sideways? Oh, I mean that one was fine. Maybe it was just the other one over there. Let's try this last one over here before we go over to one of the, uh, one of the tracks. And a so ooh, that one gets you very high up in the air. Um, so yeah, those are the freestyle ramps. You know I'm not much of a freestyle guy. I won't be spending any more time on that. So we're gonna go over here onto this first track. Looking at the map at the top right, it looks like this isn't one that you can do timing on. It looks like that's just the other one. Uh, it's not like other tracks where uh, there's multiple tracks within one, if that makes sense. You can select them and do like count your lap times for each one. So this is just uh, a bit of a fun track, I guess. Nothing to be taken too seriously. We'll, we'll treat this as uh, we'll treat, treat it as track B rather than track A being the main one. And we'll, we'll see how it goes. I think the track itself, considering it's on the older side, but like environment and decals wise, very, very pretty. I do I do like it. It's nice. The greens are nice and bright. Uh, the decals on the floor, they don't uh, they don't upset me too much. Uh, I, as you know, I'm not a fan of the old dark textures that some people use, but these are nice and nice and bright, nice and easy on the eyes. And I hopped on the 450 because I didn't really know what to expect on this track. I, I didn't know how big the jumps would be, uh, so I'd rather have too much power than not enough. Oh, and that is a lap already. We're right back here to where we started, so a very, very short lap time. I mean, it flows very well. It's very nice. There's a lot of, uh, like, doubles more than there are tabletops or, or or other big jumps, ski jumps or anything. It's like you kind of double and triple your way around the track, so you get a nice, nice flow going. I, I reckon I could do some bigger lines over some of them. We'll, uh, I'll try and do that. Next next rhythm that I hit, I'll try and send it a bit more, see if I can do anything special. Let's pop it around here. I mean, the, I can't do anything extra here. I just got to jump up and over. Oh, okay, jump straight up and over the berm is not what I meant. Get back on the track. And what can we do here? Oh, there, me send this. Oh, there we go. I'll tell you what, that flow is pretty damn good. I'm not sure if that was the... Uh, the line that you're meant to take since the decals on the landing and the takeoff are completely different but we'll rock with it i don't think i could do anything different in that section you don't really have much of a much of a lip on the jump it's not much room to work with and take off on but very very nice track very simple very uh, new person friendly i want to say let's try there's an inside right up here i can see let's try that out Oh, doesn't doesn't really hold you. More of a banking than an actual rut. And I feel like that's uh, 
common thing. So like modern track, modern day track building, I think is just the average quality is so much higher nowadays. I mean, this this compound in its entirety, it looks amazing, 100%. Uh, if I feel like the, the actual jump faces and stuff, they feel very, very nice. There's no horrible kicks. Um, I think the scaling's done really well. It's the corners, really, that I notice in. Some of them just feel very slightly off, and I can't put my finger on exactly what it is. But, I mean, that section there, that is such a fun, flowy section. Well, it does give me, uh, it gives me more Supercross vibes, but I'm not sure what the overall main uh, main goal of this was. I did read the description, and apparently uh, this track has been rebuilt, well, he, he rebuilt this many, many, many times before releasing it. Uh, so it's, it's nice to see he's, that he's put a fair bit of effort into. I've not ridden too, too many taco tracks in general. Uh, there's one called the Beehive, which is one of the first tracks I ever downloaded on this game, uh, which I didn't really gel with at the time, but I have a feeling that was probably just due to skill issues on my behalf, being brand new to the game and not being able to ride round or be smooth enough. Uh, and then I've done one more, the name does pass me, I can't remember what the name of it was, but I did do a video of it on the Ryan Villapoto. Uh, yam two stroke so and i did i did enjoy that one so 50 50 at the moment for uh, taco and his tracks for me uh, let me veer off to the side here is that the start straight loop around there yeah uh, that all makes sense uh, no collisions on the bows and stuff which i am a big fan of uh, obviously in competition side of things i do like there being collisions on objects just so it prevents track cuts and things like that but for the sake of fun tracks and tracks that aren't meant to be uh raced on essentially i do much much prefer that they are non-collidable so when i get all kinds of whiskey and go off the track i don't get stuck in them um I've, i thought i thought i was going back onto the same track for a second then because it looks like there's already ruts made on the ground but what i'm noticing like right here you see i'm like kind of following a rut here and in this corner but i believe that's all decals i think that's all something that he's added himself which is a nice touch it's, it's a nice touch really really cool so it just goes to show what uh, a good attention to detail he made. Don't swap out on me, please, and thank you. God, what's coming out of here? Let's send this. Oh, I didn't need to send this. Okay. Boing. Back wheel. Oh, I hate. I just. I hate going up to blind jumps for the first time. Oh, tell you what, that was pretty damn perfect. And what's this? Got a little double. Double again. Very. That's a very wide corner. What was. Oh, oh. Hang on. <clears throat> Got to turn over here. Down the hill. And what's this bad boy? Oh, you do not need to send that that high. Oh my lord. Oh, I thought Pavoso was going to bless me there. Let me do a 180 on the spot and completely survive. This track definitely seems a little bit more difficult than the last one. The jumps are a lot floatier, which is nice. You, know, you can get some scrubs on the go. I've definitely overdone it again on the power. The 450 is way way extra i mean i think you could rip around these tracks on a 125 fairly easily uh but you know the jump scaling is quite nice i mean i'm not putting in any effort at all right now i'm just kind of rolling on the throttle coming out of the corners being trying to be nice and smooth with it all are there any other like weird and wonderful lines i could do i reckon i could probably i reckon i could send that downhill and jump one further should we give that a go if i rail around the outside and send it see what happens i want third gear or second gear i'll try it <clears throat> <coughs> yes, yes, definitely third gear. Not. Right, let's try second gear this time. And... <coughs> yeah, let's, let's just ignore the last two attempts. Uh, yeah, first attempt right here. I haven't had any more goes of it. <gasps> Sender. Oh, double back break. Oh, and triple out. Oh, that second one is a stretch. Oh, that could be a very, very quick line if you get that down. I will not, I'm not going to keep trying to do that in that video because I don't want to keep taking free, free... I mean, one attempt, not free. One attempt to do everything. <laughs> oh god! All right, let's get let's get a flow going. Let's try and do this track some justice rather than boarding myself and sliding out all the time. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, part of me wants to edit out those crashes, but part of me knows the comedic value of leaving in is probably too good. I'm going to leave them in. I'm sorry. You can watch me can watch me crashing multiple times over. So let's get a flow going. Let's see what we can do. Can I triple up here? No, nope, not enough pop on the jump to triple up there. I have to remember that this right hander cuts down there. I turned too much this time. And then slow down for this uphill jump. Lovely, much better this time round. See, once I've got a, uh, a lap or two under my belt, I'm, I'm okay. It's just the first lap that is... It can be a little bit sketchy. 
little bit on the all over the place side. I have seen that my lap didn't count last time round. So I'm hoping that I just went off the track somewhere and missed some timing gates. I do have the memory of a goldfish when I am recording these videos, I'm afraid. I don't remember what I'd done two seconds ago. Oh, sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. There's a very, um... What's the word? There's like a, there's a fine line there between trying to apex that corner and then just fully come into the inside. I reckon if you line it up properly, you can go very, very fast through that without having to slow down too much. But I will, uh, I'll try that next lap round. I'm not going to triple this this time. I mean, maybe you could scrub that and then go triple, and then oh, I'm not sure what you would do after that. I feel like there's so much possibility there in terms of lines, but I'm not just not too sure on where you uh, end up at. I mean, that that jump there doesn't even feel like it has a takeoff. You know, you just kind of crest the hill and it carries you up and over. Little bits like this where you can save a lot of time from apex in the corner rather than riding all the way around. And then there's some corners like this where the outsides just feel pretty pointless. They feel like they're a long way out of the way, which again is something that I've noticed on some of the older tracks in the game. Just uh, like I think it is the corners more than anything. It, either the the ruts or berms are built in a uh, bit of a weirder gradient than I'm used to, or that they seem to be just really really wide corners. And I'd be interested to know what track building techniques people use then compared to now just uh, like what program they use because i know you can get all kinds of different things i mean you can build tracks in blender there's like different dirt sculpting programs you've got photoshop you some people build it over on mx simulator in-game track builder and then move it over to bikes there's so so many different ways and it's interesting seeing people's different techniques oh, i've not i've not apexed this right again you know what we saved it i thought i was going to tuck the front end going into there uh, that lap didn't count either. Let me try... I know I keep crashing. Let me just try and do the rest of this lap without going down, because I think I've stayed on the track for all of it. That'd be a shame if the uh, the timing gates are a little bit boofed, but I know a lot of time in these videos I spend more time wadding my brains out than actually putting down heaters, don't loop out, please up the hill. Nice little triple, get on the brakes nice and early to make this inside. Up and over that. Probably doesn't help me trying to apex some of the corners and I'm, I, mean, I mean I'm not cutting the track but I'm cutting across different lines. That lap didn't count either. Hmm. I'm gonna do one final one here. I'm gonna try and stay as central on the track as I possibly can. And hopefully it works, because that'll be uh that'll be a shame if the track the timing gates are made for doesn't uh, doesn't work overall. Stay nice and central here. I wonder if it's something to do with this hill where it crosses back over to the uh, the start straight that loops on there. Stay in the centre still. Nice and central here. I'm gonna go inside in this corner. Just cut the uh, at the distance down. No need to go all the way around the outside, especially when the uh, the jump after it is nice and small. I'm gonna go inside to inside again. Jump our way down this hill. I'm not gonna try getting on the inside. I jumped far too far down that hill. Seat bounce up and over that. Like this up this hill. I tell you what, once you actually get the lines down, the very, very flowy one, the corners all seem to link together really nicely. There's nothing that seems super, super out of place. You end up basically scrubbing absolutely everything, though. That's what I will say. And up to the top, and two more corners, and we'll hit the finish line. Oh, so this, this track's not even that long either. It felt quite long on the first, uh, first lap or two. I suppose every track will feel longer when you spend half it on the ground. And no, that one didn't count either. So that's a bit of a shame that the timing gates are a bit uh, a bit wonky. But you know what? It's it's a minor detail. It's not like people are going to be going for world record hot laps around tracks like these. I mean, it's really not what they're designed for. They're just meant to have a good bit of fun. And I, I think overall, considering being one of the, the earlier tracks for MX bikes, very, very good job all round. And I just, I just think it looks so pretty. Like looking out over the horizon right now, like looking over at all of the scenery and the track over in the distance over there, it's just so, so easy on the eyes. I really do enjoy it. Um, but I think that'll do it for me for this video. Uh, I mean, obviously, the, the link to the track will be down in the description. And let, let me know if you've ever played this track before, because it is certainly an old one. And I know that a lot of my uh, viewers these days tend to be some of the newer guys to the community rather than the OG ones. I feel like people have kind of uh, been and gone since the uh, the old days of bikes. We've, there's like a new new wave of people around at the moment, different creators, different player base in general, and uh, some of the, uh, the 
let's, let's just call them OGs. Some of them have kind of long gone, moved on to uh, bigger and probably better things. Uh, but if you like this video, please do drop a like. If I could uh, ask that much, it really helps the videos grow and get spread to more and more people. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. If you enjoyed the video, let me know if you played this track before or if you played any of Tuco's tracks or, or Tuco. I, I feel like I'm probably mispronouncing it wrong one way or the other. But I could watch maybe too much Breaking Bad. Break, breaking Bad. Oh my God, can't talk. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. Have a lovely rest of the day, whatever you guys are up to. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. I'm working hard, I'm sacrificing my life, I'm sacrificing my mind, I'm sacrificing my sanity, but most importantly, I'm sacrificing my time, boy, I feel fine, I feel like I am a king, honestly, I can't complain, even with faith that's the size of a grain of some salt, I will still move a mountain and do what I want, I got salt to be with my